All right, guys, quick tutorial. Mumble Proximity Chat 1.16.5 or later, just download the latest versions. Let's get into it. You'll need six links, they're all in the description, and let's get started. First thing you're gonna need is to download Mumble. I'm gonna download the Windows client because I'm on Windows, and I will save it to a safe location where I know where it is. After you've downloaded it, open it up, and you will be in the setup wizard. Just click next, accept, and click next again. Install. Make sure start mumble is on and then press finish. All right, so now that mumble is up and running, I will configure these settings. Audio input is probably something that you configure during the initial setup and so the audio output. Make sure positional audio is ticked if you want positional audio. The volume can stay where it is or you can bring it down or up depending on what you want. Then headphones, make sure those are ticked if you're using headphones and Bloom, that doesn't matter. The setting doesn't really matter too much. You can leave it at 150, 175. I found both of them to be fine. Minimum distance is something that you should leave at one in Minecraft and maximum distance, I prefer 30 because that's just where I think it's kind of realistic. Then the minimum volume should be zero because if they're very, very far away, I don't want to hear them at all, which makes sense. Now, the next thing that is very important is make sure that in plugins, link to game and transmit position is ticked. Apply these settings and click OK. Then you can exit out of Mumble and go on and head on to the second link. This second link is going to bring you to the Java homepage to download Java. If you're playing Minecraft, I'm assuming you already have Java though, but if you don't for some reason, just, just download it here. The thing that's more important is Fabric. This link is also in the description. You can just download the jar file and then open that and install. It's just very, very simple process. It's just two buttons. After you've downloaded Fabric though, you have to download these two mods, Fabric API and Mumble Link. Download both of these to a location that you trust. I will download them to my downloads folder. All right, so I've downloaded both of these files. What I'm going to need to do after that is to select both of these and press Control C or Control X if you want to cut them out of this location and paste them in the right location. Then on Windows, you're gonna have to press the Windows key and R at the same time, which will bring up the run command and you have to type in this percent app data percent to log into your Minecraft folder. Go and head over to dot Minecraft and then you will be in this kind of thing where it's, it's a mess of files, it's too overwhelming. Well, all you need to do is locate the mods folder. If it's not there, just right click and new folder and then create a mods folder. Open the mods folder and then paste both of these mods over here. Both of the things that you just downloaded from these two links. After that's done, now to actually use proximity chat, you will need a mumble server. You can go over to this website, it works just fine. You can set a password. I'm just gonna make a one, two, three, four, five password. I'm gonna deploy the server. Only one person needs to do this. So one person set, sets up the server. The, the other person can open up Mumble and click add new and then fill in the server address with the address, port with the port. You can make your username what you want it to be and, and your local ser server label doesn't really matter. After all of your friends and you are connected, you can just open up Minecraft, navigate to the fabric installation and you will be good to go. Also join PPCraft. We would love to use proximity chat with you on PPCraft. Join the Discord server, do the IP, blah, 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 do, do all the, the, all the shebang. But thanks for watching. Goodbye.